Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about the for each activity. So for each activity in the um, pipeline, um, I'm going to do the demo right away. So cl clicking on the add pipeline and for each activity is under the iteration condi conditionals. So it's here. And um, so we can go to the settings and you can see there there is the items. So um, apparently it's expecting a uh, an array. And there's a there's different ways to to provide the array to the for each activity. One of them is to use parameters from the pipeline. So um, I'm going to do that demo right now. So clicking on the white space here in the pipeline and going to the parameters, create a new parameter and call it, call it, um, let's say call it names and change the type to array. And the way to provide an array is to um, to use this kind of syntax. So now I have created a an array uh, as a parameter in the pipeline. And we can use that. Then we can use that in the for each activity. Go into the settings and click in here and click in the box and then this add dynamic content link will show up. So you click on the link and then this thing show up and it's under here parameters. Right? So clicking on the name, then this will be populated here and click on finish. So now when the pipeline runs, the, the array will be provided to the for each activity. And the for each activity will loop through that, the element in the array. So then how do we use that? How do we use the each element? We can double click, double click on the for each activity inside here. Inside here, we can we can uh, we can use those uh, uh, those elements. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to use the uh, set set variable. So the set variable. It sets a variable. This is only for demonstration. It doesn't do anything here. We, we can just, uh, we, we, because without any activity inside the for each activity, it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be invalid. It's going gonna, it's gonna to complain. So uh, I can show you that. So um, if I validate, it's going to say for each activity should have at least one activity. So um, in order to satisfy that criteria, I can use set variable activity and go back here and create a variable. So and call it name and it's string. That's fine. And I can go back in and say when it loops through for each for each name, I populate the name variable with syntax is like this with the item like basically for each item I populate the name variable with that item itself because we are using an array um, and the array itself is just strings so we can just uh, so we when we use the 
when we use the when we try to populate the variable, we can just say this. Suppose you are using an object, then then you have to use item dot. For example, <coughs> for example, um, if we are not using so I said that the different ways to to populate. Let me backtrack. So I said uh, there are different ways to to provide the array. So one of them is to use parameters of the pipeline. Uh, the other way, for example, is to uh, get. Suppose you're using a data source. Um, uh, suppose you you have a connection to a, a folder. In a, in a in your local machine or in in an on-prem server, and you created a connection and a self-hosted integration runtime on the server, and you connect you connected a link service to the folder, and, and and you try to load different files in the folder, but there are so many different files, and you only want to load certain files, and you want to configure that on that server instead of within the pipeline, so then you can create an, a, another folder. And within that folder, you can you can create different folders. In each folder has the, has the name of uh, of the files that you want to load. So then you can use the get metadata activity to to loop through the data set. And um, within the data set, you can you can specify that particular folder that provides the name. I don't know whether I'm making it clear. Um, I can demonstrate that later. But for this um, simple uh, demonstration, I'm just going to use for each and set variable. And within here, there's nothing uh, except at item. And, and uh, if we were using the example that I, I just mentioned with the, with the folders, then we can just use at item. We, we have to say dot name for example because because we're not looping simple strings we're looping through an array of folder objects and the folder objects has different properties and name is one of the property so we have to provide we can just say item item we have to say item dot something but anyways i'm hoping i'm, I'm not confusing you guys and um let me give it this a try. Um, so let me publish it first so that I can run it. OK, and um, going back to the pipeline, the main pipeline, and, and validate it. And nothing is wrong. And I'm going to click on the debug button. So because these are the default value that I provided, so I can just use them. And I click on Finish. So this output window can be used as a debug window. I mean, it's um, sort of like a debugging purpose uh, because it provides the input and output. So, for example, right now it's running, and I'm, a prov I'm, I'm checking, okay, there are two items provided for the um, for input. Uh, so, because there are two items, so the set, set variable is called two times. Right? So, that's, that's, that's correct. And if we examine the input here, it's... From the uh, it's populating the name variable and the value is Frank, and here it's populating the name variable and the name is Tom. Output right name value is Frank, populating name populating name. Output is is uh, the value is Tom. This is totally correct. So in the uh, later demonstrations, I'm gonna use the for each activity for a real purpose. Uh, right now, I'm just uh, just showing you guys an example of how to use for each activity. Uh, again, just to recap, uh, for each activity has a setting where you specify 
the um, the parameters right and then in the parameter in the pipeline click on the web space in the parameters of the pipeline you can you can specify you can create a new parameter and the type is array and populate with default value and yeah so this is it hope you guys uh, uh, hope it's helpful and uh, if you like it give it the thumb up thank you